Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I've been called away on other parliamentary business. I always enjoy NAXPA events because I know I'm with people who share my belief in the power of self building and custom house building to help fix our broken housing market. Uh, recently, uh, the NAXPA chairman, Michael Holmes, the director of the NAXPA Right to Build Task Force, Mario Wolf, and I met with Sajid Javid, the Secretary of State for DCLG, at his request uh, to give him an update on progress in the Right to Build legislation. Now, you may know that that legislation requires all local councils to keep a register of people who wish to build their own dwelling, to get a service plot of land to build their own dwelling, both individuals and what are called associations of individuals, a group in other words. A group of people could be anyone from a group of friends uh, to the governors of a high school looking to recruit teachers in a difficult to fill subject, or even a charity like Help for Heroes or the Royal British Legion looking to help veterans after they've left military service. Expect to hear more about group self build This is something that the government wants to encourage. And of course, in terms of getting the numbers up, it's very important as well. We've seen a lot of experience of that on the continent in the Netherlands and in Germany working very successfully. And we do want to see more of it here. The registers have been in operation now for about uh, 18 months. We now have the numbers for the first full year. And I'm very pleased to reveal that since the 1st of April 2016, the first full year numbers show over 33,000 people having registered to get a service plot of land to build their dream home. That is a 50% increase on this time last year when we only had numbers uh, for the first seven months and it's an index of the desire out there for people uh, to take this forward. We know, of course, that the true numbers are much higher because surveys show clearly that more than 50% of the adult population would like to build their own home or have someone build a home to their design at some point in their lives. And what we're about in the Right to Build Task Force is turning those aspirations, those dreams, into reality for everyone who wants them and giving all consumers the genuine choice which they don't have uh, at the moment. Um, the registers have to be implemented by councils and there is a varied attitude, it's fair to say. Some councils have been very good and have several hundred people on their registers, while neighbouring councils may only have a handful of names. That simply doesn't follow through and we will be working closely with the Department of Communities and Local Government to make sure that councils live up to their responsibilities. But the facts remain, even now, that by the 31st of October 2019, Councils will have to give consent for 18,000 service plots of land. And by the following year, the 31st of October 2020, a further 15,000 uh, service plots on top. And of course, that's going to be a rolling number as more people register. The more people register, the greater is ratcheted up the legal obligation on councils. And this is why the power is really in our own hands to start changing the nature of our housing market. This is an exciting time for self-build and custom house building. There's plainly much more to do, and you can be sure that NAXPA's Right to Build Task Force will be working very hard with government and local councils to make sure that more and more people can turn their dreams into reality. Thank you very much for listening, and please enjoy the panel debate which is now taking place.